We are salvaging more runs today. This here is a submission by Mild Flames. They uh, somehow have modded towers added in their run, but trust me, or at least I believe them, they didn't, they didn't use it for this run. But they're stuck on 98, a very common round with uh, the Pirate Lord, Final Harmonic, and Sada. Going for the Sada and Glue combo, I see. Trying out the Mermonkey, got stuck with it though. Try combinations of Spike Factories, another Heli, Imprit, Mop Glue, and more, I forgot. Thanks for your help. Could you believe how easy this run would be if I had the Ancient Monkey? Damn. Well, as always, first off, let me just see how far this gets. They have the Power Lord ability fully cooled off because I believe they hooked it in to end off 97, so I mirrored that. Glue Storm, I believe, should be up now. But I see a problem right now. It's the Super Srams. Once they get by this, this corner, it's all ogre. It's all ogre. The Glue Storm might slow down Srams, so we got nothing. Command G Defense struggles against Srams. Sada will buy us two seconds. Uh, two seconds is a lot with Sada, but not here. Anyway, I believe this is very much possible because $22,000, that's a, that's a lot of monies. First off, why didn't they do this yet? Easy buff to the Tower Seeker, Jungle Drums. This round is a, like a dense round, right? And this slows wounds down. Why wouldn't Abyssal Warrior be a bad choice? If you notice lately, I've been like shying away from solutions that have been, well, the... The Shattering. Because a lot of the time, you actually need bad defense. I think right now, the towers I'm getting are not getting me bad defense, so I might need to save money for a Spike Storm. But Concoction as well. I think it's worth also spending $500 for Sada Attack Speed. We will see how much of a difference this makes, I guess. I just put the totem up here, by the way, so it, like, hooks in stuff earlier. You gotta love, though, the double stacking of, like, the slowdown. I don't have Mop Glue. But you know what I mean with Abyssal Dweller? Damn. Sadly, the Glue Storm nerf hits really hard. I'm pretty sure I have the money for a Transforming Tonic, and I've done that before, and it worked really well, so... Why not now? I did Attack Speed also, because, you know, Pierce bonus with Harmonic. I'm pretty sure Discount also saves money. 2 is your 2 village. Uh, again. Let's put the Concoct on Strong. Sada now? Yeah, I shouldn't be worried about Balloons leaking right now, because we got, we got Glue Storm active. Let's wait till Gloostrom's not active to use uh, the Cookie Monster. I'm running out of, uh... Damn. That wouldn't have worked, but uh, it's kind of close, right? Okay, this time I didn't even intend for it, but I just didn't even retarget the totem. This actually might be better, because look. Doesn't... Doesn't Power Lord hit both sides like this? Oh my god, is that broken? Or rather, I may have discovered an OP combo. Like, making use of both sides. Like, this is... Clean, is it not? Sword Charge? This one isn't even close. All I did was just, like, not move Totem. And I got double DPS from P-Lord. I don't think you can go wrong with the Nerf Spike Storm. I don't think so. Please don't die to round 99. I beg of you. P-Lord will hook in six of them in, so actually, we're fine, we're fine. We don't even need it. In fact, I don't even think I needed Glue Storm, or did I? Now nah, it's better safe than sorry. Let us go. And see how close this is. This ability is also a really long cooldown. I guess that's the downside of it. Please get it up in time. I also want this to hook in. Oh, it's gonna pop early. Never mind. We got this. We're good. Blue Storm now. Sada. Hook it in. Oh my god. Pyrolo hooked in the wrong thing and it. it Sada didn't work. There were camo. Right. Oh my god. I forgot. Pyro Lord can't hook in DTs anymore without D camo. So do I have a D camo? I do. There's my decamo. Watch this. Boom. Hook all of them in. Harmonic sucks in the Zoom G and GG, folks. The run has been salvaged. Fairly easy, but honestly, a really, a really fun strategy. Hints, if you uh, submit a run with the Murmucky, it might be pretty fun to salvage it, especially the bottom the bottom cross path. I think we're just getting started with synergies. This is the first quad chimp submission I am going to attempt to save. Mr. Main is stuck on a pretty early round, round 89, but with a lot of money, which is why I think I could possibly save it, and that they have Geraldo as well. Geraldo, carry flagship, and that's about it. Every other tower is a fairly irrelevant late game. Notes. Sharpening Stone has two rounds left, and Hot Sauce has four rounds left. Shop is full except for all these items. Uh, glue that was placed down has near Max Pierce, and in case it's important, yada yada yada. By the way, I love the salvage videos, good luck. Thank you, kind sir. 
Now, even though they did help me in saying what items they had in Geraldo's shop, I would still like to know exactly what they had, because there is just one issue. I couldn't see if they had a pet rabbit on the screen, but I'm gonna assume no. Which, in that case, it's, it's pretty crazy that they went this entire run without a pet rabbit. It's really good, by the way, for the cost. Also, what's really important to note is that next round the shop refreshes. So, ideally, we can use as many items as, as here as we want, and then they'd be back for, uh, well, next round. I guess we'll just play so I can show you how close we are. Hints, we are not close. I don't know much about quad, but I feel like this is a good tower now and is worth buying. If we have 300 more dollars, can I, can I make 300 dollars or are we going to die instantly? I bet we're going to die instantly. Damn. If I get Glaive Lord, I win the run, but I don't, there's just, yeah, I can't. That really sucks. Because I generally think if I get this and I just run the next couple rounds, we can shred with a 5 zero two. But we're short every single time. If only the OP of this run used one less draw the item, because I did the math and they spent like 20 plus K throughout the whole run of this, so pretty inefficient spending. This is going to look a bit funny, but that's a lot of money in three overdrives in a brittle mitts. I don't think the money's there for other towers. I would also sharpen each one, because the last 10 rounds now, so that's up to 98, which is... As long as it's there for 98, I don't care. Yeah, what you're also supposed to do, like, with this, if you have all your defense up here, you move it up with several options. Actually, I don't think Mermonkey reaches. I don't think I can afford Condor with the money I spent. No, I'm 4k short. I would probably, well, for one, get one less overdrive, because it already does a lot of damage up here, you see? I'm probably going to die within two seconds here. I would think. Yeah, die there, but lasted pretty long with the extra damage there. Apparently, this is the right spot for the reticle. Right here. Should it be in strong as well? I think it's going to pick up mobs anyways. And I died. I don't even know what I died to in this map. I'm not going to lie. It's not going to work, but I am just very curious. If I Symphonic Resonance, so uh, it pulls in some F moabs. Uh, do we get all of them? Hey, low-key, that was the furthest we survived, but... <laughs> okay. This spot gets both lanes. Wait, is it just me, or... Wait, we, we leaked one. But it gets most of the F-Mobs. And it worked for the... Well, again, Moabs. I don't know about them for the BFBs, though. I think we lack damage. It's probably going to kill us at some point, right? I don't know what I'm going to do with this tower, but it kind of works, doesn't it? Damn, I guess I'm taking it if, it if it survives. This is scary. We got the refresh. I have enough for Pet Wabbit, but that's all my money. Okay, good news. This 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 thing hooks in DDTs, so it'll hook it into the Embrittlement range, I believe, right? Wait for it. Look, this. Boom. Wow. I would have done Jerry Fire, but it only lasts five rounds now. So that means... You should get a 96. I would assume I'm leaking to this side. So glue here, right? Alright. Just 110 is all we're spending. And now I blindly await my fate. Do we win or lose this run? Definitely lose. Oh, wait. Sharding Stone was ran out on the flagship. I didn't even realize. Also, I will glue over here. I think we're leaking from this lane. Just to guess. Because we got more glue here. But we don't have stuff there. And that was the answer. All right. This is crazy synergy, though, because now, like, the tax on the bottom, shooting on the bottom, actually damage the balloons. See? It's hitting the, the CMGs here, or the, rather the Moabs. On top of also stalling the balloons. Crazy work. Sadly, it doesn't hook in ZMG, so I think I'm dead. I don't think I beat this ZMG on this side without tax. It's this ZMG I die to, which is not good. The fact that I die to a single ZMG, the insides. Because there's nothing back here, but okay, it works. I think Splatter saved it. And now there's three ZMGs left. This one's going to exit. And we probably take the L. Right? No. Now we take the L. Now, I bet Glue saves that, but... Oh, man, I really just want to Penny Pinch. And not have to keep wasting items for every round here. You know? So, somebody mentioned to retarget the totem. And I agree. If I can just survive this part, thank you. I'll cancel the totem so that it goes up. The, the, the problem is I gotta wait quite a while though, so come on. Get it? Top right now? I think I can defend the top left. Right? 
If not, I'm gonna cry. Alright, frick it, I'm using Ogloos here. I think I have decided... I... I am fed up with this run. Glue. Glue saves it, but I think I die here. Let's cancel Totem. Actually, no, it's, it's gonna pop. BFBs? We got three. Okay. ZMG is actually just fine at the bottom side, as long as we pop everything first. But I have used up all my glue. I have detonated all my glue, and uh, I'm probably going to pay the price, right? Let's see. No? Holy crap, Harmonic is OP, or Symphonic Resonance. How does this strategy even work? It just does. Again, it might be off or not, because 94 is probably way too hard to survive, I would assume. Actually, there's BFB. There's only uh, BFBs left, but I don't think there's enough time. Hmm. I'm not gonna lie, I'm impressed that the dude even got to round 89 in the first place with like shit, but I guess spamming through all the items is, uh, surprisingly gets you a long way. Not all the way to 100, but long enough. This might be the furthest we made it. Hang on, hang on. Alright, let's Symphonic Resonance this to save singular balloons at a time. Like, come on. See that? Wait. This could actually save the run here. Wait. This is gonna pop first. Hook in all four, please. And... Oh my god. Now listen, I probably think we would have died to these two at the bottom, but still. That was a good run. It's time for our Lord and Savior to destroy to do work. I think it might do work, because again, double sides, and it has Cure Flagship buff. So it might be equivalent to, like, Overdrives. I'm gonna use one more Pickle, and um, a Jerry Fire. That's it, though. The rest is down to Flagship RNG to not kill us. And I believe it has not killed us. All right. So this here, because these three will pop first. Looking good. This is a good head start, too, in ZMG damage on this side. That's why I picked it. Oh, crap. No, no, no. Why must you pop first? All right, watch this. Watch this. After this hooks in, we will cancel the song. And then... Oh, God. Don't die there. Don't die there. Don't die there. Raw. Right. Actually, I have an idea here. Let's not cancel at all. I think I found the god spot. This spot can get the left side. Watch. Watch it hook in all songs. Don't pull it out. And come on. Start the song. Bruh. So close. Alright, trial and error, what does this do? So, please start the song. Right here. Or else we're dead. Nice. The god run happened. 7k into 95. I am 100% at this round. I don't think this thing can get all DDTs. It pulls it in, but I, it's got to deal with the entire bottom side. Also, doesn't the flagship not hit DDTs without embrittlement? <laughs> yeah, it's a problem. So it'll work for the time being, but yeah, it's going to stop hooking it in. I have no choice but to do another embrittlement, but this is a whack spot that I don't know if it'll work, but eh, we got to see it through again. It seems much better. Um, It just doesn't... It doesn't hit those, but luckily it pulls it in. And I die on the top side? Huh? Yeah, okay. We, we can't just, like, simply drop dead and give up. So, I'll do whatever to save the run. Even if it means we probably die on, like, 98 or something like that. So, Genie this round, for so it works on 96. What would I change? Uh, save more money. Maybe don't get this tack, because it's useless. Discount more things. If this Genie doesn't save us, I'm gonna be shocked. 7,000. And it, does, it doesn't. Glue. I think we gotta counteract the lack of more blue on that side. It looks good. Until the song wears out. Mmm, GG. Alright, frick it, Maelstrom. I'm doing whatever it takes, and it still doesn't work. Alright, that's as far as I go for this attempt. I don't know if we'll come back to this. I took some time to really polish the run, and this time I have a lot more money going into 95. Basically, to get to this round, I discounted first, so I could save money on pretty much any upgrade possible, including P-Mentoring to save money on getting the tax here and the Imperial Band. Also, this Genie was dropped last round because it refreshes for round 98, which is better than if I use it for 95 and 96. Also, I think this is how we're going to beat 95. A second Symphonic Resonance, this tone will be up, and this one will be down, of course. So what this does is, uh, well, it drags the DTs up there, too, because I noticed when I died earlier, the DTs on top side would run through. But look at that. It's looking good right now. Until now. Until now. Oh, 
No, but it works. Clean, wouldn't you say? Now the problem is I don't have a, a genie for 96, so that's a problem. I'll see how far this round gets me. But it might look a bit ugly. Unless Jerry item spam is truly the way to go. I wish I got these earlier, but it is what it is. It looks super messy, but somehow we're still alive. It's working though, so like I, I, I can't complain. We didn't need any items to beat ZMGs. And I don't think we even have to reposition the totems, right? Or uh, no, I think I might for that one BFP in the top left. No, we're good. One ZMG left. And that's it. First try 96 again. 98. Oh, also, we didn't get the refresh. Was I off by one round? I might have been. Oops. That's not good, because I think a second genie would have been really nice. Now what do we do uh, other than spectate? Well, I'm just going to spectate and see. If we could actually just beat this first try, that would be crazy, but I doubt it. I see stuff leaking. It's going to exit. Surely, we must be dead. Yeah, but we lasted a really long time. And we have so much money. There should be space for a primary tower here. Under P mentoring. Yep, right here. I'm just gonna double up this side. Again, I'm pretty sure we're leaking the top side for some reason. So I'm just gonna double up on the creepy adults here too. And alright, how about two blade traps? I'll use this round. If it looks spooky. That's about it. I should watch and see what leaks. This side looks very leaky. Um... Old? Is the glue really making that much of a difference? I got easy. Yep, I see mobs. I see mobs. That was needed. Don't die. We're not dead. Wow, this is easy. And in the process, we also popped all the ZMGs. Minus two of them. But yeah. $15,000 after 98. And I have another genie this round. Let's just keep seeing how far this takes us, because... Yeah, why not? It's working. And uh, it only leaked one DDT. I'm gonna just pre-charge my Spike Storm. I can only afford one of them. Wait, wait, wait. Do I do this? I don't think I get Reju Potion. Or maybe I'll only get one of them if I do this. Let me just watch what's leaking this round. Like, which DDT this time? One on the bottom. Okay. So that went top down and it, got, it missed both glues somehow. I don't know. Maybe just keep trial and erroring. It's still hooking up, so that's not good. But I'm going to watch each individual one if I can. Which one doesn't get sucked in? They all got sucked in. Wow. Well, that was perfect. I can only afford one rejuve, though. I think it's fine. Last round. Can we save quad chimps with a bunch of money having been wasted on Gibraldo earlier? Well, we got 3k to make it work. 1.3k one, 1. now. Spike Storm needs to do more damage. I think we're fine, though. Yeah. Hang on, let me cancel this so it can, I can put the totem in range. Oh, I didn't even cancel it. I think we're good, though. The end. I don't think there's any words to say again other than just how good is that Mermonkey, right? I don't know what I'd do without it. <laughs> let, let, I'm gonna be real. Overall, difficult, but fun run to save.